Hey, it's Mel with the Screencasting Wizard, helping you digitize your knowledge to get it online and web ready. And today we're back for segment number five of our best screen, video screen capture software series, uh, the comparison series that we're doing. Uh, this time we said we were going to talk about Jing, which is TechSmith's version, uh, web-based version of video screen capture software. And there are two flavors to Jing. Jing, uh, there's a free version which limits you to five minutes of video screen capture of your screen. And then there's also Jing Pro, which you know typically is giving you more than five minutes and there's some basic editing and so on. The thing is, um, we're actually going to be kind of short on this on this particular uh, uh, this series here today because it's all kind of moot. Uh, TechSmith came out with an announcement not too long ago this year uh, that they're actually going to be phasing out Jing Pro. What they're actually doing though is they're pushing everybody to Snagit version 2. And Snagit is actually, we're not going to be do, really doing a whole lot of evaluation of it because it's, it, it's not what I would consider video screen capture software, really. Snagit has really been more about capturing static screenshots or static segments of your screen. Let me just kind of show you really quick, okay? Uh, when you install Snagit, it comes up uh, as basically this little toolbar. And that's one of the beauties of it. It's, it's very simple. Uh, and traditionally, up until version 2, really all you really had with Snagit was just being able to do an image screen capture such that when you click this little record button, you can then take some segment of your screen, click and drag, and then whatever is within that little square, you then capture that and it goes in a video editor and then you see these little toolbar effects or these little tools on the right side. You can actually then take some effects and so on. Like if you, know, see the, if you ever see on these blog sites where they have these cool little rip, uh, torn edge effects and then you can put some shadows around that and maybe even put some arrows and so on to highlight different segments. There's even a little pixelation effect that you can pixelate out different segments of the screen or, or of, your, of your image that you've captured. Okay, but really, traditionally, it's been a screen capture, just an, a static screen uh, image capture of your screen. So, um, and I think it is, should be part of your tool set, by the way. Um, if you're going to be doing screencasting professionally, I think Snagit should be something that you should be, uh, should be getting. Um, but until version 2, they really, all it really did was image capture, okay, static images. In version 2, what they came out with now was this uh, additional feature where you can click this button down here that allows you to be able to do video uh, screen captures of uh, using Snagit. So when you click this record button, anything that happens then within the clicked and drag segment of the box that you have there, when you push this record button here, it'll then do a little, it's a little countdown, and whatever happens inside that, you can quickly do a recording of. Okay, so my mouse is moving around here, All right? So let's go ahead and push a stop on that such that when you're, when you're done recording, it then goes into the editor as one of these little video clips. Here's the thing though, um, in terms of again, professional level video screen capture of what's going on in your screen, I wouldn't use Snagit Pro for all of that. And here's why, is because you really don't have a whole lot of editing capabilities. Uh, as a matter of fact, you don't have any when you're using Snagit Pro. What they actually do is they have you push it out to a Camtasia. So, because it's all produced by the same people, right? TechSmith. TechSmith creates Camtasia for Studio, or Camtasia Studio for the PC. It also, they also create Camtasia Mac for the, the Macintosh. And then they also create Snagit. TechSmith has uh, great folks. I'm big fans, and uh, I think you, can't, you won't go wrong with their products. Uh, but basically, you don't have a whole lot of editing capability here. You, you actually have to push it out to Camtasia. So if you're going to be doing this professionally, I would actually say for video screen capture of your, what's going on in your screen, you want to use uh, one, of the, one of the video screen capture software, either by Camtasia or for, by ScreenFlow. All right? So in terms of our overall evaluation of the criteria that we said we we're going to be using, for Snagit and also for Jing, these actually turn out to all be NA. So in terms of the overall series, it's still valid in that when we do these comparisons, a lot of folks are asking, hey, can I just use Jing when I'm using screen capture software or can't I now use Snagit for screen capture? And the answer is yes, you can. The thing is, if you're doing it professionally, you're going to be doing it for a training series, and you're creating training programs and so on, that wouldn't be the tool that I would use. Snagit should be part of your tool set because you, there will be times when you want to capture a static image of your screen or do something quickly. But really, in terms of video screen capture, Jing and Snagit both are basically um, just real quick and what I call quick and dirty, Q and D, right? Quick and dirty type videos that you're just going to do real quick capture, not more than a couple of minutes to show somebody something really quick and then share it with them either through YouTube, Twitter, or email or something like that, okay? All right, that's about it for now. Next time we will be talking about Screener, which is um, 
Articulate Global's uh, web-based version of, uh, I guess, kind of a competitor to Jing. Uh, and that's about it. So until next time, this is Mel with the Screencasting Wizard, helping you digitize your knowledge to get it online and web-ready. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.